Hey everybody, how's it going? This video is kind of loosely related to the one that I just posted. Um, it is about grifters, with with, with with a little bit of a little bit of a caveat here. I, I don't know this Ali Akbar guy that I'm going to be talking about in this video. I don't know him well, or or at all really, and I, I'm not accusing him of any wrongdoing per se. Um, but there's some information out there that I want people to be aware of because of some links that I posted in the past, in the recent past, in some of my videos uh, pertaining to Stop the Steal campaign. Uh, that website, I maintain that it is incredibly useful for getting organized with people in your community and seeing you know, where, where the next events are to, so you can go out and support the president. I think that's absolutely useful. However, uh, this is something that I never really paid much attention to. I don't believe that I've ever directed anyone to donate specifically to this campaign, and I'm going to uh, really explain why. So first off, I completely disavow uh, donating money to any specific group or cause at this moment in time, except for the secure uh, red win or whatever website. I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to donate to help out. It and you know if you're not in one of these battleground states, but you still want to, you know, do something. Uh, but but the Stop the Seal website. Do not donate to this website. Do not give any money to to Ali Akbar or or anything like that. Um, there are things that I've, 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 I've recommended people to go do, which is, of course, join protests, make the phone calls, um, you know, articulate your points clearly and just communicate to people in your life, your friends, your neighbors, your, your Facebook groups, whatever, what is happening in the country. I mean, that is infinitely better than giving money to people like Ali Akbar. Uh, so I saw this video and it features Alex Jones and Nick Fuentes and, of course, Ali Akbar. And uh, I was I was pissed. All right, I got really upset. I got really animated. Uh, obviously, you're not going to see that here. Uh, just because, you know, like this, this this channel and my whole shtick is like this is a very inclusive channel. This, my content is for everybody. And, and uh, there's no room for hatred or racism or anything like that. And, uh, you know, w when I was out there on the streets and, and going to, to my, my events out here, speaking with the press, speaking with the people, um, that sort of thing. There was no racism. There was no hatred. There, there was a lot of open-mindedness. There was a lot of fairness. Just a lot of kind, gentle, and worried people. And there, there's no hate. None of that whatsoever. But now we're seeing uh, some of the figureheads of the the so-called movement, right? That this Stop the Steal event. Uh, you know, coming out and saying some things that I find uh, pretty reprehensible. And this video upset me for more than one reason. So let's just go ahead and dive right in, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up. Ba -ba -da. All right, here we go. We're working on today. Today's battle is today's battle, and it's about stopping the certification. Today's battle is about today's battle, and it's about stopping the certification. Well, here's the deal. If they're able to pull this fraud off, it's totally, yeah. If they're able to ever actually get him in there, they said Trump was a Russian agent with no evidence. Biden is a communist Chinese agent, 100% provable. He's done. So, we just, yeah, we're not quite see Alex, Alex. They serve, I'm sorry, I'm not trying not to, come to they serve how they vote here, right? We're, yeah. we're inside. Let's not leave. <laughs> we're not crowd no, we're, we're not we're not we're not the left. We're not gonna democratize that's how ideas. We, that's how we can stop the Listen to me. Listen to it's me. Peaceful. Listen it's to peaceful. me. It's not a bad idea. Listen to me. What? Listen. Peaceful sitting. Peaceful sitting. That's what we'll call Here we go. If the hillbillies make up all the ideas then we're gonna lose the country. So put aside your pride. Listen to me. We're gonna stop the steal, but first we're gonna stop the certification. Well it's yeah? not good to fight, it's okay. How are we gonna do yeah? that? Yeah? How are we gonna do that? Sorry, let's, let's talk about it later. It's good. Okay. Do not enjoy this. Right. It's okay to have ideas. Though. Everybody's fine. Yeah. <laughs> just an idea, man. We'll just lose the republic. So, well, ideas a, are fun. Well, he, well, he, well listen, he, he can have ideas of private citizens. Yes. But, I don't, but we have our ideas. The point is, this is good. Everybody yeah. came here. We're kicking ass. It's wonderful. I'm just talking out loud with ideas, man. It's good, brother. I love it. You know? So, okay, right. I'm not trying to upset anybody. Believe me. AOC. One team, one goal. Yeah. Absolutely. You have ideas. That's what makes America great. You have yours. I have mine. We'll talk about it. We'll meet in the middle. We'll come with better ideas. Tell you one thing. I bought, I, I, I've got that same hat. You no, know, Deanna has it. <laughs> Yeah, she's got one like it. I bought it like at a fishing supply store like five years ago. At, in uh, in Maryland? No, it was like my mom was on a boat with us and she wanted a hat. I got it for her. It's still in the boat. Yeah, man. The uh, the irony in calling someone a hillbilly who likely descended from the people that ended up carving this nation out of nothing is pretty fucking rich. And uh, what, what disgusts me more about this video, other than the blatant racism, is uh, Nicholas J. Fuentes. His inability to say anything or to react to literally what just happened in front of him. Uh, especially since people like Nicholas J. Fuentes uh, usually rails against people who engage in blatant hostility and racism towards, uh, you know, people who are white, you know, the, the typical traditional American. Um, it, largely because, you know, you, you had the modern left uh, being 
aggressively anti-racist. Racism is the worst thing in the world. However, there's an exception. You can be racist as long as it's against people who look like the guy who's wearing that cowboy hat. And now we have the, this 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 individual, Ali Akbar. This guy is is, is capitalizing on on the on the invogueness, if you will. Like, is that even a word? Invogueness. Um, you know, he's taking advantage of, of the, this loophole, this racist loophole, where you can engage in in in, in uh, you know hurl bigoted slurs against people against traditional americans you know the guy's wearing the cowboy hat obviously he's white and he's calling him a hillbilly um and and it's like oh well because these hillbillies are calling the shots we're going to lose the country or whatever and, and nicholas fuentes doesn't say anything uh usually he spends a lot of time defending people like the guy in the cowboy hat but he didn't do it this time when it happened right in front of him and, I, and it makes me wonder why and i'm not being you know this isn't a rhetorical question like i'm genuinely asking like why did he not say anything uh i sent this to him and he, i have i get to uh, receive a response um and again alex jones is a class act everything they say about this guy is wrong he he tried to defuse the situation i think he did an excellent job he didn't want to derail the event and engage in you know uh have have internal strife with, within this group uh so you know kudos to uh to alex jones for for being the man that he is i, I love this guy and i love him even more given everything that's, that's been going on in the country um but no it, it just I, I don't get it i don't get it. like where the fuck does this guy get off uh, hurling bigoted racist slurs towards people that are that are honestly just trying to do the right thing and to help. And uh, you know what? I, again, I don't know what, what what is going on there. I'm not uh, like like let, let's let's okay. Let's give Ali Akbar the benefit of the doubt that this is a bad idea. He could have been able to articulate clearly why that was a bad idea uh, instead of being a fucking asshole. Uh, to people that are there to fight. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I just want to let everybody know, again, uh, I, I have nothing to do with the Stop the Steal thing. I've never advocated or told people to donate money to the uh, to Ali Akbar's website. Uh, I, I don't know where that money is going, and, and neither does James Alsop, who was uh, recent, or not recently, but he was banned not too long ago, unfortunately, because he was honestly one of the more talented content creators here on the platform. So I got this website pulled up. This is uh, the Dissident Mag. James Alsop ended up writing this. Uh, he did this two weeks ago. Um... Yeah, published two weeks ago on November 9th. Okay, uh, so let's say Stop the Steal, a GOP grifter's dream come true. Um, so we got mug shots of Ali Akbar, and we have a grinder icon that will be explained later. Uh, Stop the Steal is uh, StopTheSteal.us. It's something that I linked to. Again, uh, I, I don't endorse anything that Ali Akbar has done or said. Um, I, I just and I just want people to get out there and, and to be loud and obnoxious and be heard. And the Stop the Steal website is, is, is useful in that it has all the information that you need, where the events are going to take place, what time, so on and so forth. It's been incredibly reliable. Um, whoever is, besides Ollie, the, the people that are working with him, they're doing a pretty good job of running the site. I'll give them that. But there is a sinister element to it. So show me the money. This is the most important segment. Uh, despite not being a legal entity and having no discernible uh, expenditures other than web hosting, uh, and uh, domain registration, Stop the Seal.us uh, pr uh, prominently solicits donations at the top of its webpage. And also, very important, so this is Ali Akbar, um, you know, this is all his, uh, you know, uh, personal uh, links to his Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, uh, you got PayPal links, you got a Cash App link, and then users also have the option to buy him things from his Amazon wish list, including weight benches. Mass gainer supplements and soap on November 7th, Ali Akbar uh, tweeted that he doesn't get paid to do this. A statement contradicted by the hamfistedness of his self-enrichment scheme. So who is Ali Akbar? Uh, before reinventing himself as Ali Ag Alexander, he was Ali Abdul Razik Akbar. A convicted felon and con man with multiple arrests for burglary and credit card fraud. And of course, um, you know, James also did us the courtesy of uh, looking this guy's criminal history up. Uh, so let's see. So let's. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Ali's crime spree began as early as 2006. According to the police reports, he stole five MP3 players, 20 CDs, three camcorders, two DVD players, one back massager, one clock. I don't know what that is. Uh, four shirts, two belts and a piece of luggage from someone he knew beginning on or around November 1st until approximately November 26th. An arrest warrant was issued and he was arrested on January 1st, 2007. Dude, I was in high school when this was happening. It's kind of funny. Uh, seven months later, on August 18th, he was arrested again, this time for credit card fraud and burglarizing a vehicle. So here's another um, 
uh, you know, very uh, interesting mug shot. Uh, so Akbar's campaign against voter fraud is ironic, considering he was once credibly accused of planning to perpetrate voter fraud on behalf of John McCain. As uh, Libertarian Republican uh, Republican.net reported at the time, Akbar. Uh, then a John McCain campaign staffer was caught planning voter fraud strategies to use against the Ron Paul campaign in the upcoming Nevada caucuses. Whoa, isn't that shocking? Very, very interesting. Uh, so this guy is in league with Carl Rove. I don't know if he was one of Carl Rove's lovers. Um, whatever. Uh, who cares? Uh, he's got a grinder account. Uh, so uh, in the, um, what's it called? It seems like in the description of this uh, grinder account, uh, he he uh, describes himself as smart, outgoing, and bi. Ali Akbar's grinder profile soliciting gay sex. Uh, this is who this individual is. Uh, let's see. Akbar's connection to Rove is likely how he was able to insert himself into the orbit of conservatism, Inc. In 2012, he became the, the president of the National Bloggers Club, NBC, uh, which received startup capital from GOP megadonor uh, Foster Freese. Over the next two years, NBC hosted events featuring uh, GOP celebrities, including James O'Keefe, Ted Cruz, and Eric Erickson, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, fellow travelers, Akbar's campaign tells uh, Trump supporters to give him their personal information and attend uncontrolled public rallies. You might expect commentators like Nick Fuentes and the Daily Stormer, both of which have accused rallies of being traps set by federal agents in wignets. Uh, would be critical of the strategy. The exact opposite is the case. Fuentes, uh, whose website was built in part by admitted federal informant Miley Yiannopoulos, promoted Akbar's grift. So, of course, um, Nick is you know doing the whole hashtag, stop the steal. Admittedly, I, I myself did the same thing as well. Um, you know, it's, and, and for the most part, like I, I generally agree with the sentiment that, that like these rallies are generally uh, fed traps. But uh, this didn't seem like it was it, especially given the the, the enormity, the, the the large scale of this. Uh, you know, millions of Americans, uh, you know, are, are disenfranchised and are upset, and thousands and hundreds of thousands of us are going out, taking to the street. It's not just like one specific fringe group. It's it's a it's a large group. It's a huge net, and it genuinely is diverse. Uh, as odd as it is to say something like that. Um, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, so now I think that's really about it. That's all I really wanted to cover. I'm going to leave a link in the, descript, uh, in the description to this um, just because I feel like that it's important that people know that what, 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 what what's like genuinely going on out there. Uh, and I don't want people... I don't want to give people the impression that I'm that I'm okay with this, that I endorse this, that I support any of this. The only thing that I support is is ensuring that the president of the United States gets another four years. He gets a fair shake. And the only thing that I am telling people is to 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 get organized, articulate your points clearly. Uh, you know, tell it to the people that you know in your life because you never know who you're going to be. You know, whose mind you're going to change. And what impact that might have. It, it, it's it's more significant than you think. It, it genuinely is. Um, Something happened on November 3rd, and I think it's very, very important to, to go out there and organize. And, and, and in regards to Ali Akbar, you know, whatever crimes he may have committed, it happened a long time ago. We can't be holding that kind of stuff against people because it happened a long time ago. However, the evidence that has been brought forth by uh, James Alsup is, is telling. Uh, it's unfortunate, um, and, and it's concerning. So I probably will not be sharing links to the website but i will be sharing screenshots perhaps uh towards specific events uh, i don't know yet uh, i don't know uh, you know I'm, I'm gonna maybe when i leave links to in the description uh specifically to a website like stop the steal uh, i'll have a disclaimer and letting everybody know what is going on because uh, I, I don't I, I pride myself on being an honest person i pride myself on, on delivering you guys content from the heart that that is that is uh, it's meant to be useful and I want people to trust it. Uh, so I, just, I had to make this video. I had to let my feelings be known. Uh, and, and in no way, shape, or form am I throwing shade at Nicholas J. Fuentes. I, I like the kid. I really, really do. Super talented. I just have questions about what transpired here. And, and I think people deserve answers. Uh, especially given the kind of content that he does. And, and, and especially given the content that I do. Like, I love James also. I like Nicholas J. Fuentes. I love Jared Taylor. Uh, I love Colin Flaherty. Um, you know, so so seeing this fucking weirdo, uh, the the Ali Alexander, the whatever the fuck his name is, Ali Akbar, uh, seeing people like that uh, call call traditional Americans hillbillies and just completely shit on them, uh, absolutely rubs me the fucking wrong way. And that's not what I stand for, and that's not what I support. I stand uh, in solidarity with uh, you know with my 
with, with, with people that, that Ali Alexander uh, feels the need to call hillbillies. I have more in common with, with them uh, than I do um, people like Ali Akbar. That's for fucking sure. Any day of the week. Peace out.